Hello, I'm Entrealism, and welcome to Renowned Explorers International Society More to Explore DLC. Renowned Explorers is a game about taking your airship, exploring the world, finding cultural artifacts, tribes, treasure, and looting it and taking it back to your native colonial land. So basically colonialism the game. It's got a cool art style and it's got a mechanic for battles that is kind of different to most games in that you can actually do battles without murdering people. You can actually be friendly, deceptive, or aggressive if you want, and resolve battles that way. Different weaknesses, different strengths, certain approaches will differ in certain ways and have a better time, an easier time winning certain encounters. But in general you can do three different approaches, only one of which is actually to fight people and straight up shoot them in the face, if you so want. Obviously. Anyone who's seen me playing D&D &D will know that uh, Deception is probably my favourite approach. But we're going to dive in and we're going to start a new game and have a go about it. We have two modes, Discovery and Adventure. We're going to do Adventure Mode, which is basically the roguelite experience on classic difficulty, which is hard. I have played one game and lost, but sure, we're going to do that. I think it's more fun to have a hard game and lose than to have an easy game and be like, oh, well, that was easy. So we get to pick a crew of three people. A captain and two other crew members. Currently, I've only got the first of each class unlocked for a captain because you need to do certain things to unlock the others. Um, we can pick anyone for the crew members, but the captain's limited. So we can have a scientist, a scout, a fighter, or a speaker. You all know me. I'm going to have Anna, the scientist, as our captain. Anna Proscuria Kovar. Anna is a bright young scientist who loves the scary power of electricity more than anything. She wants to uncover the secrets of the world. So she's basically a female 25 year old Russian Nikolai Tesla. Nikolai Tesla. Wait, was he Russian? Oh my god, I don't actually know the nationality of Tesla. I mean, originally. Like, I, assuming he got American nationality, but I feel like a failure to geek society in general. Oh no. Give me a second. Nikolai Tesla, nationality. Nikola Tesla's nationality is Austrian and American. Well, there we go. That's a lot of Austrian and American scientists. Well, sweet. Anyway, the point being, uh, Anna, you're with us now. Anna is a balanced uh, scientist with a very high speech, defense, and no real weaknesses. And she comes with a taser. She's capable of doing great damage in area. She does best in an aggressive or devious team. Anna goes well with most crew members and can develop either offensive or defensive. Uh, recommend crew go aggressive or devious with Dolores and Hattice. She's a naturalist too, so she's like really awesome at science stuff and studying the environment, that sort of jazz. Uh, for our next crew member, I'm going to say... Ooh. Maria, what are you like? Beguiling 2. Yvonne. Beguiler 2. So Yvonne is a balanced speaker with high speech and good defenses. And she can gain spirit to write a target. Uh, she's great at verbal skirmishes. She does exceptionally well on devious crew, but is most balanced in most teams. Whereas Maria, who is Argentinian, is a glass cannon speaker of amazing speech, but very lacking defenses. She can seduce enemies for fantastic damage to their spirit. Maria does well in friendly and devious crews as long as someone's protect her. Hmm. Devious, you say? Yvonne is also fairly devious. Oh, which one do we want to go for? go Hilgard, but she's a diplomat and a naturalist, and I don't think I want to spread myself that wide. Survivalist diplomat, diplomat 2. I say we try out Yvonne. Nationality, Canadian, 27. Montreal's cruel mistress, assertive, intelligent, and a center of attention. She wants to see if she can trample the world under her boots. And then we'll need a scout or a fighter for the last crew member. Since we've got two people who are fairly weak, they're not like glass cans or anything, but they are fairly weak. I think we should probably go for a fighter. Dolores Garcia. Defensive fighter with great armor and decent offensive. Uh, can With either hitting or shouting, Dolores can keep opponents busy and take hits. She does well in aggressive and devious teams. So she's devious, she's devious, and she's devious. So she's got a fairly good devious team here. I'm tempted to switch Maria in because she's a glass cannon. And we can use Dolores to defend her. Let's look at our stats. Where do I see our stats? Uh, there's a stat button here somewhere. Details. Excite. Sadden. Attack. So this is an aggressive action. This is a devious action. And this is a friendly action. The three different types of attack. Revive crew member. Hmm. Okay. 
Heartbreaker, Seducer. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Spirit 30. That's basically your HP. You don't die, you just get dispirited. Whereas if we want to have a look at you, 40. I think we actually will go with Yvonne, just because she's a two range on Saturn and Impress, which means that she can attack from the back line. So that's going to be useful. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Okay. Um, shoot. Right. Start adventure. Wow. You are very tall. Why are we just short? Well, you are a professional wrestler, so it makes sense, but I just didn't think we would be quite so short next to her. The Saxon Kings. This is it. You just got your renowned Explorers International Society membership. Anna wants to make a big entrance. Find the burial site of Saxon Kings. Found somewhere in the mainland of Britain. But King Edward's grave remains a particular mystery. Time for adventure. Okay, so this is the end point on the map where we want to try and get to. These are the different nodes we can travel through. And eventually make our way there. So, uh, a quick overview. These are our three people. You may have guessed. This is our gold. This is our status. And this is our research. These are the three things we want to try and get while we're out here to be able to increase our renown. You gain 8% of any status you gain as renown. You get 8% of any gold you gain as renown. You get 12% of research you gain as renown. I presume that is because we have a research-based captain, so we get bonuses to research. The idea is to get as much renown as possible and become the most renowned explorer in the world. I approve. Now, this means we're probably going to want to target any research we can find, so things like this. Which is, there's research to be found here, but there might be an encounter. Ooh, so there's some perils there. There's gold to be found here. And I can't tell beyond this because there's a fog of war in the way. Now, eventually we want to be able to get ourselves to here. We have a limited number of supplies. And you notice that this costs one supply to travel to here. This costs one supply to travel to here. And everything in there costs one supply. So, we're going to have to make sure we hit as many nodes as possible to get as much loot. While ending up here. If we don't get to here, we fail. If we run out of supplies, we also fail. We don't want to fail. We also have Resolve. Resolve comes into play effectively when you lose trials or tests or encounters. You start losing Resolve. And if you get to zero Resolve, it's game over. Because we're playing on the kind of permadeath mode. So, uh, yeah. No coming back from that. We're going to risk it. We're going to straight off go to here. There might be an encounter here. And there's research. Because we want research. Research is worth an over 50% to us. It's 12 rather than 8%. Also, by the way, there is Insight, which you can use to get other stuff. It's the rarer one of the artifacts. Let's go over here. A group of sheep is fighting to eat from a slightly greener patch of grass. It might be interesting to study this peculiar patch of grass. We are studying grass. We came all the way to a long forgotten island of Britain to study grass. Let's not fight these sheep over some grass. No, let's go. We're fighting sheep. Oh, yeah. Oh god, they look kind of scary. You approach the patch of grass, but the sheep see you as competition and start attacking you. Don't be scared! Yvonne, don't be scared! I forgot your name for a moment. At least, you know, Anna's looking fine. She's like, yeah, they're sheep. Yvonne is like, what are these? They've got fluffy blankets on them. Wait, what's your nationality? I can't remember what your nationality is! Sorry. I'm going to assume that it's whatever I choose to do the accent as. Show your worth. Start a rank one encounter. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we get bonus of finishing friendly or devious. We get bonus study. Study is effectively research because it turns into research when you finish the individual scenario. So once we leave this island, all of our stuff will get turned into resources. Uh, each one of these is worth four to six research. If we finish it aggressively, we get nothing, though. So let's start the encounter. We want to try and befriend the sheep or deceive the sheep. That is honestly something I never thought I would say. Hmm. Right, so, welcome to Battle Mechanic. It uses a vaguely hexagonal grid, except this is a pentagon. That's a pentagon. That is one, two, three, four. That is a hexagon. It's weird, uh, but it works. So, my people are over here, as you might have noticed. And then there are some sheep. The sheep have dispositions here, meaning they get angry, they get happy, and they've also got a spirit meter, which is effectively their HP. They currently are friendly-ish towards me. 
Now, there are certain tasks you can do, certain ways you can approach a combat to be able to get different approaches and get different buffs. So, the mood is currently friendly. Aggressive excels against friendly. Devious excels against aggressive. And friendly excels against devious. It's a rock, paper, scissors system. And... Open the mood of reference. I think that's the one I want. No. Okay, well, there's a chart that says, if you are this and they are this, this buff happens. So if we go devious, they're actually going to have an advantage against us because they are friendly currently. We can go friendly and be friendly to their friendly, or we can be aggressive. The thing is, I don't want to do aggressive because we don't get a bonus then. So we're going to move forwards. And I'm going to say we try and go... Devious is 100% times speech power, whereas this is only 8%. So, sure. <gasps> we scared it! And instead of killing it, it just runs away terrified of my crew. Okay. Can you do... Um... So, yeah. Now, because we are using a Divas approach and they're using a friendly approach, we are now tyrannizing. You're the bully. Minus 30 speech defense. Because they've taken the friendly approach, which beats Devious, and I've taken the Devious approach, we actually suffer a malice here. So I'm actually going to be outspoken to by sheep. Uh, we're going to try and flip it to be friendly. So if we get three friendly actions in, it'll flip this to our approach being friendly. So let's try one friendly action. We're impressing the sheep by talking about our boat. The sheep's impressed and doesn't wish to stop you. Bye bye, sheep. And because it was a kill, we get two points. Well, it was a... We defeated the enemy. You get one fusing power and you get one for defeating an enemy. Uh, you will just have to come up here for now. You're not going to be in range, so enter. Now the sheep go. Oh, uh, that was particularly bad. Oh, no, we're going to be rammed. That could and be worse. I'm just trying to get my sheep jokes in now. Sorry. I just thought you'd like the sheer numbers. I'm sorry, I'm trying to pull the wool over your eyes. At the end of the day, my jokes are just bad. 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 Oh, we missed. We fumbled the speech check. However, we are now pleasant. Everyone's nice. Physical attacks have a plus 50% attack power because... Uh, since everyone's nice, aggressive is going to dominate. And it only takes one aggressive to flip the mood. And we could do that, but I don't want to get aggressive finisher. In fact, I want to get devious, and we're so close to getting a devious finisher. So we're actually going to have to try doing some devious powers now. Even though they're not going to be very effective. Oh, uh. She'd be sad and beyond words and just wants to be left alone. The poor sheep. Oh, actually, devious has gone down and friendly's gone. Okay, let's try and do friendly again then. Try to encourage. Encourage the sheep. <laughs> Dandy. Oh, God. Confident. 25% attack power. That's not good. No, don't be confident. <gasps> Pleased. Aw. Backstab. Physical attacks. Plus a minute. Whatever. Right, we're going to do a try to encourage the sheep. <laughs> Come on, friendly. There we go. We get some science and we get some encounter tokens, which turn into status and gold. What a merry bunch. I'm sure they'll appreciate my bravery. Resolve to conflict. Friendly. Only lasts for this expedition. Plus five speech defense and plus two speech power. You successfully calm down the sheep. And can finally take a look at the grass. Because it's really important, grass. After careful examination and some tests, it seems the grass contains some special nutrients that attack the sheep. You take some with you for their scientific value. You do not want to be a patch of grass when those girls are looking at you like that. It's a very bad idea. We get one study. Really? That was worth one study? We just need to fight more sheep. Who needs to study stuff? Just fight sheep. Okay, right. so if we wanted to mainline it to the hut, we could. But that would effectively be missing out a lot of stuff there is on the island. Because we want to try and get as much as possible before we run out of supplies. Otherwise, we're just missing out on loot. 
And hey, it's colonial times. Loot is important. So the status to be gained here, or we could go here. A wits challenge, a nature challenge, and treasure. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this one. Halfway up a small mountain, the crew finds an old ruinous Saxon monastery. Many of the Saxons' structures were made from wood and did not stand the test of time. A stone building such as this one is a treasure itself. Unfortunately, it does not fit in your backpack. I do like the sense of humor that this game has. It's like, oh, I could have looted the monastery. I could take it with us. We'll explore it. As you approach the monastery, a strange looking hooded man is standing in front of the monastery. Well, hello there, travelers. Welcome to this old Saxon monastery. I come here once a year to make some minor repairs and clean the place up a bit. It would be a shame if such a nice place went to waste. Keep listening. Saxon men used to come here to test their skills. The most skillful would be rewarded by Tyr, the god of war. All that is left now is this heavy statue of Tyr that warriors would push and feel like a Saxon knight. And a trail in the monastery's basement that would test agility and attract noblemen with pretty rings. If you would like to test yourself, go ahead. Your performance might earn you something. Okay, so we could push the statue or go to the basement. Intimidate the hooded man and demand treasure. Hmm. You've got the speech perk? You are the terrible, terrible person to get a speech perk. You should you should not have the speech perk. We should try ending combats not with you in future. You are not talkative. Okay, so we could try pushing the statue. We could go to the basement. Fragility. And nobleman stuff, or we could try timid. I say we try pushing the statue, because you're actually like pretty strong, so. You're standing in front of a heavy statue of Tyr. Who will try and prove themselves? Dolores. 10% base chance, 27% from armor, 20% from fighter, and 20% from athlete, too. 77% chance, push the statue, bonus one treasure. Okay, let's do it. Come on, 77% chance! No! Dolores pushes and pushes, but the statue won't budge. After a long while, Dolores gives up and the old man speaks. Tear rewards more than strength alone. Dedication, honor, endurance, and many other things. He walks inside the monastery. He walks out with a Nordic bracelet, a strange travel to receive in a Saxon monastery. Tear has rewarded you, and I think I wish you the best in your travels. Okay, we get a 25 renown and one insight bit of treasure. The centerpiece of a lost Viking treasure. Uh, we can choose to get three collect, three campaigns, so effectively gold and status, or we can get uh, research. And I'm going to go with research. We carry the new treasure with us. Great. Now, do we want to go over here or do we over here? Mm, this one is research, this one is status. We're going to go for the research. We also want to level you up. Ooh. So, we get a choice now. Gain the Athlete Tenacious perk or... Quick Finger Escape Artist Perk. Ah, you're athlete one, not two. Well, I keep forgetting that. You're actually a quick thinker. Hmm. I think we need to make sure you're a bit of a better athlete. Because those mission object like those, um, I don't really call them, like traits, I guess, turn up quite a lot more in my experience. So I think we'll go for this. Right, wrestling and Tenacious. What's over here? A giant spear thistle is standing near a small rock formation you pass by. The thistle has an unusual colour. It's much bigger than others. Yeah, let's study it and sell it afterwards. Supplies may be found here. Mm, okay, yeah. Extra supplies sounds good. Normally you wouldn't be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruit trees. We get three supplies? That's really, really good, because we can keep going around the island now for longer and get more stuff. It kind of makes up for that failure earlier. And we can click to start a campfire and tell a campfire story. Okay. Let's give that a go. Show off. Uh, the crews gather around a special campfire where stories are told or even created. You can pick one story every expedition from your crew, uh, from your hand to upgrade and transform your crew. Finish a game of Renowned Explorers to unlock more campfire stories. Uh, let's not show this again. Thank you. So, we can either tell a plus two resolve. So, resolve, effectively, I mentioned before, is your... 
I guess it's your expedition health. As soon as you go to zero, your expedition ends and it's game over. So we could get plus two resolve. I think it would only affect this run though. I think we'd end up back at two when we start a new expedition, so not as good. Encounter, that's permanent loot. All members of the crew gain quick thinker reflexes. That's quite useful. Or we could get eight more loot. I think we go dodgeball. Out of nowhere, Dolores pulls out a ball and hurls it towards Anna. Dolores casually yells, Catch! I can't do Mexican accent, so I'm not going to try. Before Anna is struck in the head. Ouch! Anna picks up the ball and makes a revenge strike. Within seconds, the crew is having an all-out dodgeball match. A group of locals even joins the competition. Dolores is the winner of the match. After hours of powerful throws and app dodges, the crew's reflexes have increased. <laughs> I just like the game. In that it's just like, it's just, it's unashamedly comic and like, light-hearted. It doesn't mind. Nice. I also like the art style. Hell, I get to play as um, Russian woman Tesla person. I, I'm i happy. Uh, go over here. There's research and an encounter. Okay, I'm not pleased about an encounter. Especially since there's going to be an encounter here and here. <laughs> there's a lot of encounters. But I want the loot, so why not? If I fail on the first mission, people are going to be very sad. Uh-oh. The crew suddenly get ambushed by some aggressive-looking men. These foreign fast fans aren't going to take all our jobs. Attack! They're charging. <gasps> but immigration actually, like, boosts the economy because it allows people to come in and support the local infrastructure and economy by, like, actually doing jobs and stuff that locals don't want to do. And it fills in gaps in the workforce and actually allows the entrepreneurial spirit and actually increases the economy because the workers from abroad don't actually spend that much of your local, like, taxes and stuff because they don't really use local resources like healthcare as much. So actually they're worth money to the economy, whereas native speakers... Okay, we're, we're attacking anyway. Fine, stand our ground. Okay, so we get points for finishing aggressively. That's not what my group is good at. Okay, we'll see what we can do. They've got very large hammers. Right. They're being aggressive. Okay, so to beat them, we should probably go devious. I don't really care about getting a one aggressive token. Oh, that said... It is actually a lot of sticks and a lot of gold. Hmm... Uh... Primal Roar. Target becomes terrified if it is negative, giving a minus 25% attack. Has an increase of 20% of each per surrounding enemy. Hmm. Yeah, we can hit two people with this, so we'll do the Primal Roar. Okay. Oh, yeah. Provocative. Poking the bear. Plus 25% grit. All your crew members gain mining gains. Okay. Alright, what's our range? Melee. Hello! Your token looks a lot more muscular, like, there than it does. Like, that looks pretty muscular. Like, big hammer, large bulky biceps and shoulders. And then if we actually zoom in... You look pretty mediocre comparison. We scared them, and now we hit them with tasers and stuff. Works for me. Divas abilities plus 25% power. But now aggressive is leading. That's what I wanted. Ow. This is my unimpressed face. Cranky. They are negative, but take no effects. Okay. Uh, so we'll move you up here. Move you up here. Move you to here. Let's start hitting them. Hello! Yeah. Ball whip! Punchy time! Oh yeah! Ooh! You resolve an aggressive conflict. Um, plus five armor, plus two attack power. Not really the person I want that on, but, you know, I'll take the armor. With the situation solved, the crew can continue exploring. Yvonne is baffled by the fact that these men thought that sheep herding or mining was of any interest to you. Ha! Huh. We do not need that. We just need your treasure and your archaeological and cultural significance. We don't care about your people. Oh, we are so colonial. Ah, uh, ooh, we've leveled up. Very nice. Gain the Rogue Mischief perk. Or gain the Beguiler Astonishing perk. Let's get Rogue. Let's spread out a little bit. 
And then over here, naturalist, classical physics, or engineer tinker. I want to try and spread out, so yeah, we'll get engineer tinker. Cheap gloves. Mm, okay. Ah, and your quick thinker went up because we got the uh, dodgeball thing, so you're actually quick thinker too. That's nice that they stack like that. Let's go over here and see what we've got. Some cuddly sheep are fond of the crew and keep surrounding you. It makes it hard to move and you have to do something. Engage! Hmm. Available because Anna is a quick thinker, quick thinker, quick thinker. Okay, so because we've got quick thinker, we can make fast to make a distraction. Anna, you can do it. You're the captain. Anna hops over the sheep, runs a little while, and turns around. Then Anna imitates the sound of a hay bale. <laughs> <laughs> what sound does a hay bale make? <laughs> oh, this game is just so... I love it. Uh, the sheep comes rushing towards Anna, thinking they'll find food. What a distraction! In the meantime, Anna and the crew can get away. Here's my best impression of a hay bale. Okay, you ready for this? <clears throat> that was amazing, wasn't it? That was so lifelike. Right, what's this? Your crew can be improved here? Ooh. Two people are having a heated discussion as you walk by. One of them yells at you. Hey, you, hey, yo, we need the opinion on something. We are discussing what the best way is to solve problems. I am convinced that using speech will solve any problem for your encounter. But this guy here, this guy, he thinks that using physical attacks is the way to go. What do you think? If you choose me, I will teach one of you how to use speech more effectively in this island. If you choose him, he will do the same for attack. Uh, we'll go speech because we've got a speechy crew, so. Speech is always the best option. Ah, speech is always the best option. I will teach one of you how to use speech more effectively on this island. Remember, these secrets only have effect on this expedition. Uh, we're going to increase Yvonne's speech because she's already really high, so why not make it more ridiculous? Okay, you don't look high so much, it's just really evil and angry. Right, we've got three supplies left, so we can go here, go here, and then go here. Another encounter. You walk down a small path when you hear shouting and screaming coming your way. Two thieves are running from an angry mob. Since you're blocking the path, one of the thieves asks, Please, Trevor, we've got no time here right now. If you leave, let's go. We'll give you some compensation. Take the bribe. We get one collect. No, we're going to stop them. You cannot be bribed. Stop the thieves. Stand your ground. Right, let's do this. Aggressive. Oh, wow. We get loads of states from aggressive. Alright. I say we go devious to begin with, with our AoE devious attack. Because they end up scared now. And that means attack power is decreased, which, yeah, I'm down for that. And then we stand with the taser. Ooh, experimentation. Two tile range. Affects enemies within the target circle. Yeah, let's use that. Oh, didn't do that much damage. Eh, fair enough. Gains 25% power each turn while off cooldown with maximum of... Oh, so it's useful to just wait on that one. Okay. Then they've got Deride. Type becomes enraged if it is negative, giving it minus 25% armor. He also uses Spit by 50% of the damage, and the ability has increased aggro. Okay, I will just grab the attack for the moment and just uh, hit you with a whip. Okay, in turn. Ow! Stop forking me! No, I don't want to be forked from both sides at once. That's tactically unsound. And taser. That's what we gave to try and fork me. Oh, that taser looked like it went somewhere really painful. Ow. You're probably not wearing anything under that kilt. That's just painful. Ugh. Okay, and whip. Aggressive is now lead. And punchy in the face. I like her follow through on that punch. It was a good punch. 
Oh yeah. And resolve the conflict aggressively, only for the expedition. Anna gets an aggressive perk. Hmm. The angry mob finally catches up with the thieves and see you already took care of them. The mob thanks you and everybody now knows about your good deed. We get a renown. Hmm. Not bad. Not very much in the way of collect so far. But oh well. There's something odd here. Well, I can't afford to go there. That'll be one, two, we won't get there. So we'll go here. Now the bonuses, because we've done all this uh, like little events and stuff, we've now got quite a lot of bonuses. So our team is quite pumped. As you walk along a hill path, you come across a crossroads. You decide to follow one of the off-road paths for a while. Here you find a lot of sideways and crossings. The paths sometimes contain ancient Saxon tools, which you take with you. You eventually wind up at the same crossroad as before. Okay, so we get another collect. When you arrive on the next hill, you look back at the hill with a strange pass. You're starting to see that these crossroads and sideways are actually a giant Saxon hill carving. What a sight, and what a story. You get one campaign. Not bad. Not bad at all. What's that called? The uh, the big white horse of... Um, it's down near Oxfordshire, isn't it? What's that big white horse called? That's actually a thing. Um, like, a long, long time ago, people were like, Oh, let's make a giant white horse on the side of a mountain. Well, a, a hill. There aren't even mountains down in Oxfordshire. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. Let's go to the end now. Let's go to the Saxon King Burial Ground and see what we can find there. The burial site of the Saxon Kings must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. You can come back to this place when you wish to continue later. Are you ready to go? Well, we've got zero supplies, so yes, we're going onwards. Of kings and rivals. The crew search through the hills and quickly find what they're looking for. The Saxon burial site. One of the tombs is of King Egbert. A particularly mysterious figure. Finding its secrets will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned explorers. Have you here a familiar laugh? Behind you stands the French explorer, Rivalo. <laughs> Rivalo. Oh, God. <laughs> Who considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. He speaks. Uh, thank you, amateur under Rule 24B. The explorer mandate for explorers should LP Severat. I really need to ex uh, excavate King Egbert's tomb to gain another honorary title. I ex worked very hard to find treasure. If this explanation wasn't clear enough, maybe my strong friend Tommy can explain the situation better while I plan the King Edbrook's too. Hey, wait a minute. Before Anna can stop Rivalo, his crew fighter Tommy steps forward. Nah, ah, little explorers. Beat it. He's not letting you pass. Defend yourselves! This is a rank 2 encounter, okay. Right. So Tommy's impressed by our skill if we do an aggressive. If we go devious, he is emotionally hurt and leaves. And if we do friendly, Tommy thinks you're nice. Okay, so we want to try and end it aggressively to, like, impress him. He's got a load of people with bats. And he's got, like, a... I mean, it's meant to be, like, a 2 by 4 or something because the grip's so small. It looks like a, just an oversized... Like an oversized cricket bat or something? Weird. Okay, uh, let's open up with... Primal Raw. Takes two of them down. And now we don't want to actually end uh, Devious, so we actually want to try and switch to an aggressive mode now. So Anna, if you wouldn't mind. Taste the balls. Mm, can't actually end up in base contact with anyone here. Uh, if I'd been killed, actually, I've got two tiles on a lot of my attacks, so... Oh, well, uh, we will end our turn here. Eh. We've got good armor. It's quite nice to have a cat with good armor. I like the fact we didn't even dodge or anything. We just stood there just gripping our taser like, yep, you completely missed. Uh, right. Dolores, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Uh, I guess a bunch will do. And goodbye. Hostile, is there a way out? Do these abilities get extra power? I'm going to keep waiting on experimentation because it will get bonuses of each turn we wait. So for now, we'll just use another taze. 
This is, of course, Island 1, so the battles are a little bit easier. They will get much harder if we go ahead. We've also... We've bulked up quite a lot. Because we not only did, like, one round of seven supplies, we actually got plus three. We've been to about fifths and extra places. And we've got a lot of bonuses. Attack becomes enraged if it is negative. You aren't negative, are you? You're standard. Attack becomes impressed if it's positive. You're not positive. You become standard if you're negative, giving you less speech. No, I think we just go over standard attack. Not much damage on that one. Your mook's just there to really get in the way. You're actually not going to really use them. Your main, the main worry is you and your very weird baseball bat. Like, it's got a grip and then immediately goes wider. That's not a baseball bat. It's just strange. It's much more cricket bat. Okay. This is a range. That is melee. That's melee. That's melee. So we use the experimentation because it's ranged. There we go. <laughs> And then, minus 25% attack. Or we could use try to encourage to heal. That's a melee. Oh no, I didn't mean to use it. Oops. Well, that was a mistake. Oh well, at least we've got encourage. Confident. Oh! Okay, we'll move you down to here. Try to excite. Oh, heal. Oh, that wasn't a lot of heal right there. Right, we're going to use Terrify because it will give you a negative. Because you're already po uh, negative in terms of your disposition, you should turn, yeah, Terrified. Which is a minus 25% attack damage. Move you to here. Deride. Enrage it to give minus to armor. Alright, we'll get the kill. And it won't flip as devious. I think we'll still be aggressive. <laughs> Taunted and ruffled. And with that... No! No, it's a devious victory! Damn it. Tommy runs away crying, overcoming negative emotions. His tiny heart also needs some tempering, it seems. He also accidentally dropped a mysterious checklist. However, Rivalo has already plundered King Egbert's tomb and left. Oh no, I didn't get the best ending. Mysterious checklist. The crew quickly turns out the mysterious checklist you got from the encounter. It seems to be some sort of agenda or scheme. <gasps> a scheme! Anna takes it and reads it out loud. Treasure still to grab. The what? I don't know how to do a female Russian accent. Oh, treasure still to grab. This one hidden in the tomb of forgotten kings. That one treasure held by the locals. That one in the cache near the dangerous cliffs. Due date today. It seemed Rivalo was going to nab some more treasures. You might be able to get one before him. Which treasure are you going to chase? Hmm. Do you want to go dangerous cliffs? Two of forgotten king or one held by the locals? Let's do the tomb. There's another tomb around here. Maybe you can outsmart Rivalo this time. Who will lead the investigation? 64% chance! Come on, Anna! I can't deal with no failure! No! Yes! Oh god, that was close. Searching the other tombs before Rivalo comes back was a great idea. Investigating the other tombs yields some knowledge. And you find the mentioned treasure. So, 5% so, chance of Sword of Justice, 13% chance of Saxon Golden Horse, and a 30% chance of the Heliodor. Sort of justice. 100 renown, 1 insight, and ooh. We don't have any levels of tactician, do we? No. So we get one encounter for each level of tactician. We get one collect for each level of tactician. Uh, no, we don't have any of that. So we can either go plus 1 to 3 gold from collect or just get some collect and study. This one is good. Plus gold from our already existing collect. Does this apply every time? 
I don't know if this applies just to the gold we have right now or in all future gold. But that'll be very useful if it's all future gold. I'm gonna go for that. With this last find, your expedition still continues on a high note. However, it's clear that you want to be the most renowned explorer you'll have to be to Rivalo. Now it's personal. Back to London! Okay. We are aggressive. I don't want to have a reputation for being aggressive. It's just that that was the better way to do most things. Not bad. A little bit long the research, but not bad. So we get 177 renown, 81 research, 265 status, 271 gold, and a couple of treasure. Small discoveries, blah 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 blah. Anna Proscuria Cover, Tyrant Tycoon. Oh no, I'm named the Tyrant Tycoon. I wanted to have the devious names. The devious names are so much more fun. We're ninth on the leaderboard, and to get much harder to beat Rivalo. Right, a magnificent job. The board of the renowned Explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you to carry more supplies. Sweet. And renowned Explorers International Society membership. Get 30% off El Vigilante's branded canned dog food? That's one of the worst memberships I've seen. Uh, we also get two supply capacity. Awesome. So now we can go to a few more places. And we can now upgrade, spend stuff, make our ship better, make our crew better, get some awesome kit. But that'll have to be next episode. So if you've enjoyed, like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think so far of the art style and the humor. I'm actually really digging the humor myself, even if it does involve the sound of a hay bale. Let me know what you think. Uh, especially since it's still like a new series, a new game for the channel. I'm really interested in hearing the feedback and getting a sort of gist of would you want me to play more on the channel so the likes and the comments down below especially do really help with that so let me know down below but until next time i've been andrew Elysium, and stay shiny